Hello. Ooh, I'm the first one. It's so exciting. Uh, so as you can tell, I speak English. And if I tried to write a poem in German right now, it would be like the worst poem you've ever heard. So is it okay if I do my poem in English? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah? Okay, good. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me. It's awesome. Uh, this, this text is a little difficult to describe, so I'll just let it speak for itself. <coughs> I remember the day when my world became small. He opened up his laptop computer to reveal his background picture, purple sky, sea salt stars, soft serve swirls. I said, it's beautiful. Who painted it? He replied, it's not a painting at all. It's a photograph taken from the edge of the Milky Way, and those three swirls are galaxies, and the bright white lights are planets we've never even found names for yet. You know, sometimes the universe seems so much bigger than I am, and everything just keeps expanding. Like a Big Bang's prophecy, we begin as nothing but a spark and keep growing until our bodies can't contain our potential. It's simple as connecting the dots in the sky or the freckles on your forearm. Do you see the connection? In Egyptian mythology, the goddess Nut is depicted as a naked blue woman covered in constellations and as a child. I got lost in the hours I spent watching ants marching down the sidewalk, so small. But to them, life itself is a fact, a vocation. Little Miss Sunshine, do you know the history of the moon? Do you know what happens when the asteroids leave behind scars she can't hide? Her face is not ceramic, but a damaged relic of her past. This doesn't make her any less beautiful. An instinct isn't just what we feel, but what we have to do. And sometimes I have to scream for every time I've been told to shut up. And other times I just want to have a baby so I can give birth to a universe and watch it expand. I want to pretend I am so much bigger than this. But it's just as likely that I'm just a freckle on someone else's hand. Don't place yourself at the center as if everyone can revolve around your experiences because we are molecules made up of molecules, small sparks born to blaze. If only we knew where we were going. Instead, we just keep moving, letting the comet tails take us where they may, make believing we have some sort of control over our destinies. But here we are, lonely stars trying to light our own way. I am flickering. When I blaze and burn out, what sort of answers will you give me? Don't tell me it's easy to destroy meteors when you haven't seen the ones that ricochet inside me. Don't tell me how to shine, because there's no day without night, no ending without beginning, no big bang without the silence that precedes it, that small spark before I scream. Maybe we're all exactly where we need to be. Our experience is something to express instead of swallow sunshine. They want to call you positivity, but even staring at the sun long enough will blind you eventually life isn't ours to control but to experience each and every moment from pinprick to pelvic split we are growing expanding changing we are stars we are science not art projects strength and weakness interwoven into a thread in a fabric square in a quilt pattern so much larger than we will ever know so the next time you're faced with moments that break you realize it is those moments that shape you take your place in the sky become a constellation blaze burn out become another flickering spark for someone else to make a wish upon. Dankeschön.